Welcome everyone to week 213 of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays, and man is it great to see all your lovely faces back here for another episode. If you want to win some RP and think your plays have what it takes, be sure to visit potatomonster.com slash upload to submit. The lineup for today's episode looks incredible, so let's get right to it with our number 5 play from iFatty on Zed. In the beginning, we see him headed to a small fight breaking out near blue buff, and right off the bat, the friendly Evelyn goes down. When Leona lands a sunny, goes in on Lee, ulting Nidalee and leaving her low with Ignite as he switches to Yi and finishes him off with a double shuriken. There's a ton of monsters blocking the sonic wave, so for now the fight comes to an end, but Zed has an idea of where Lee Sin could be, so he loops around. He shadow swap flashes the Q, dropping Lee for his third kill in this play, and just in time to escape from the enemy team. Moving along and into our number 4 spot, we have Rango the Sloth with a huge outplay in a challenger elo game. He wants to push these last couple of creeps and go back, but Shen is here to gank and he taunts into his Q as Wukong ignites, but thanks to the bola, he has 5 stacks to heal and save his life. With multiple enemies closing in, he decides to juke back upwards and he knows Wukong is hiding in that brush, so when the time comes, he turns around, jumping the Shen into a flash Q ignite on Wukong while using his bola, which not only gets him a stack, but also slows Shen so he can get out of taunt range. They continue right behind him, but Rengar's W comes back up, granting the fifth stack so he can W again for the heal as the tower takes the double. The enemy Yasuo gets chained up twice by LeBlanc, leaving him at low health and in a 2v1, so he falls shortly after for the 3 for 0 exchange. So far we've had some sick out plays, so let's continue that trend with our next play from Shower LFT on Graves who takes on everyone. At the start we see the friendly Braum under heavy fire as he retreats back towards Shiro and he falls incredibly low so Nidalee flashes to kill. She goes down and the Nar goes all in but he drops Corky and then flash dodges both stuns, smoke screening Xerath which allows him to predict and dodge the Arcano Pulse. He kites back while sidestepping between each auto, dodging Nar stun a second time as the Bloodthirster and Potion restore health until he gets the quad. Let's go back one more time to check out some of those quick moves that made this play possible. Landing in at second place, we have last time on Thresh with some incredible jukes that are honestly pretty unbelievable every time I watch, even though I've rewatched this so many times. After engaging the fight with a hook, Red Team all ins Karma, and between the Ignite, the Box, and Lucian's DPS, they finish her off, but then Ezreal counter all ins and gets him low. Last time tries his best to body block any Qs, but Ezreal slowly auto attacks Lucian to death, but now he's left with low health, so Thresh follows him and gets the double. Backup for Blue Team arrives, so he takes off, but he's at the mercy of arguably the two strongest AP snipers in the game. After flashing, he plays plays Nidalee back and then sidesteps the Arcano Pulse, forcing the enemy team to dive as he dodges a spear but then somehow has the presence of mind to dodge another Xerath Q, followed by the stun, Xerath's W, and another spear, and then a final Arcano Pulse before the enemy team has to back off because of the tower. Despite being forced to run in between the tower and the wall, Thresh keeps his cool and has some of the best reads I've ever seen to dodge spell after spell in such a tight space. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Crimin on Lee Sin, but as you'll see, this play is a masterpiece of teamwork, so big props to all of his allies. The gold scores are close and tension is rising as both teams are looking for an opening to gain the advantage so they can take Dragon. Lee Sin and friends fall back to the rest of their team and right as Shin Zhao gets in, he gets gold carded and kicked back for the triple knockup into the four-man solar flare and five-man fates call as Crimin gets back in there while Aurelia sandwiches from the flank thanks to a great teleport. Three go down right off the bat and then Twisted Fate follows through on Janna with his ult while the rest of blue team chase down Riven to get the ace. Because Twisted Fate teleported to mid lane, he's able to beeline it right to the tower which lets him also get the inhib as his team takes Dragon and Baron off the back of this play. We're gonna check out that insane counter engage one more time before moving on, but again, bravo blue team, this wombo was picture perfect and so well executed. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Seth Test 1002 on Sion, who is a wet noodle fight with a bunch of other tanks, but slowly over time we see him come out ahead. As these champs hack away at each other, I wanted to let everyone know that Brandon is currently streaming some solo queue and fan games over at twitch.tv slash potato monster, so everyone should go check it out and say hello. Thanks to our lovely sponsor HyperX, we have another Cloud2 headset to give away to you guys and the rules to enter are simple. Head over to the Rafflecopter link that's provided just down below in the description box. Once you click it, just follow the instructions there and in total it'll take you about a minute to enter unless you've entered a previous giveaway, which in that case it'll not even take half the time. HyperX just released the Cloud2 headset last month and it's a hot item right now, so if you don't fancy your chances on the giveaway, then check out the Amazon link just down below. It's currently on sale at about 33% off and I promise this headset is worth every penny. It's the best bang for buck headset you'll find on the market right now. Thanks for watching everyone, it was a pleasure as always and I hope to see you back on our channel for some more League of Legends videos soon.